Oh, Lucy came to say hi. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, it's Cass. Um, welcome if you're new. I put out new videos at least once a week, sometimes more. So stay tuned and subscribe. Today I'm going to be doing my makeup, but I'm going to a baby shower and they're having a little girl. So I'm thinking maybe more of a girly kind of makeup look today. So I don't know, I just thought I'd do it and film it. And We'll see how this goes. Um, but yeah, I've already put primer on my face and moisturizer and that, so it's it's all like set now. So I'm gonna hop straight onto it. So the foundation that I'm gonna be using is the ordinary and just a little pink sponge. I use a few different foundations, but I do like this one. Uh, my friend got it for me, and yeah, I just I like it. I don't really know what to talk about. Maybe I should do a voiceover. And just draw some stuff when I have something to say. You know, people say you shouldn't like drag the sponge. It's like you're gonna tear your face off, but I don't know. Just kind of do what you do, you know. I never actually pick out my like my colours before this. I mean, today I've grabbed some palettes that I think I'll use, but I always just end up winging it. So, I don't know how that's going to go. Oh, blend it really good around my nose and eye creases and breakout areas. I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair yet either. Maybe I'll Lately I've just been rocking a messy bun everywhere I go. Maybe I should do something like that time. Like um straighten it maybe? And I always get foundation like all over my lips. Um but I can fix that up after. Next I go in with the models prefer stick. It's like a highlighting stick, but because I'm so pale doesn't really highlight as much for me it just kind of like helps those areas that I need like a bit of brightening so it doesn't work like dramatically for me but it does what I want it to do so I'm happy with it <laughs> I've been trying to think of like video ideas um, and I thought of like milestones and all that like if I get a certain number of subscribers, like how I'd want to celebrate. And I'm honestly like the most random idea came to my mind yesterday. I was like, what if I just do something really stupid? Because, you know, people like to watch other people do stupid things on the internet. Like, just give myself a piercing or climb something. You know, like nothing is going to hurt myself because I, I don't want to put, I'd never like try to put myself or anyone else at risk. But just like one of those like silly kind of things. I don't know. Should I just give myself a piercing or something? I love piercings, I have a lot of them, but um I tried to give myself one once before. And it was okay, but like I the needle, it was a sewing needle, so it wasn't a hollow needle, firstly. It was just a helix one and I didn't push it through all the way and because I was going too slow and then I stopped and I realized you cannot stop when you're about halfway through because your body will just automatically swell like crazy so my ear just popped up and then I, no matter how hard I pushed I just could not get the jewelry through or like the not the jewelry the needle through I couldn't get the needle through I'm gonna use this just to go around like my eyes I don't want it to crease. Okay, and as for the rest, I actually like to let it sit for a little bit before I go putting powder on my entire face. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Now, this is what I usually use. It's like goof proof 
by Benefit and I loved it, but I've run out and I haven't gotten another eyebrow pencil yet. So lately I've just been using this eyeliner from Mecca Maxima and just making do with this. So it's an eyeliner pencil, but it does the job. And yeah, I will get another brow pencil. I'm just, I'm indecisive. I've literally never bought the same brow pencil twice. Like I like to try different ones. That's like with most of my makeup products. I like to try different ones. Like there's certain brands of foundation in that that I like. Hey, look, Lucy came to say hi. <laughs> So I'm, I'm not too sure what kind of eyebrow pencil I want to get. So I think it's just going to be like one's going to stand out to me and then I'll get it. But until then, this will do fine. So you can make it work. Like, you can double the usage as well. Like I can use it on my eyebrows or my eyelashes. That's like really cool. My eyebrows are really bad at the moment as well. I need to something with them, get them waxed or threaded or something. I'm considering microblading actually. I think that looks really cool. I don't give my eyebrows the attention that they deserve or that anybody's eyebrows deserve really. So I'm going to use this powder. It's just what's this brand again? Um, I can't remember the name of the brand. I don't know my glasses on. I can't remember, but I like it. It's a little bit too dark for me though, so I usually use a different one around like the front of my face. And we'll just use this for the sides and like where I'm gonna put a bit of bronzer anyway. It doesn't, it probably doesn't look too bad on camera to be honest, like from what I can see. Might be okay, but when I do my full face in it, it looks a little bit too dark, and I have to you can kind of see there, I have to blend it right down. It's a shame because I really like the formula, like it works really well, but um, it's just the color's a little too dark. Um, the other powder I was using was Thin Lizzy, which is really good, I got it from just Priceline, but I ran out. I'm running well on some makeup stuff actually, I might need to do a little shot. <laughs> so I'm just going to use this again. It's like, I think I've used almost all of it. I really like it. I could not do a good job like covering all these very bad areas. And just to well and truly cover any um, like bits that I haven't got to like have, like matte yet, um, I'm just gonna use this finishing powder by Australis. It's okay. Um, back when I was very new to makeup, I used to really like it because it makes you feel so smooth. But as I got older and tried different products, I realized this really doesn't like do anything for the actual look. It's mainly just how the feel of it, if that makes sense. Like, I mean, it's so white. So like, of course it's not gonna do anything for the look. And it's like, it has a lot of fallout, but because it's so white, it doesn't really matter. So I usually just have this one as a backup. I've had it for a very long time. But you know, it still does its thing. Next, I will do some contour. I just used this brush by Sports Girl, and it's honestly the best contour brush I've ever actually used. I really like it. Like, this one's good, and, of course, but like for cheeks, it's just good. But it's probably because it's actually the only like one I've had like this. You know, the drill, use this palette. I use the darker one for my cheeks and the lighter one for my nose. Um, I also blend it up here. What should I do for my hair? 
I could braid it actually. Braiding could be cool. And I just go in with the light. Just going over with the skin color, whitey color. My eyebrows are really bad. But you know, if like um if they're really bad, just kind of draw on where they're supposed to be and cover the rest of the foundation in powder. Uh -huh. It's the perfect crown. Why is my nose such a weird shape? What even happened? do blush. I'm just going to be using this little, I don't know, Beauty Essentials. My sister got it for me a while ago. I think she might have got them for free, I don't even know. Ooh, I breathed it in. I like how it's like very soft because I never actually used to wear blush because I was like, I need one to look pink. But I really like it now. use the same brown eyeliner actually just because I just sharpened it as well so it's, it's a good good length good size I was gonna use um black but looks I'm probably gonna go more girly tones like pinks and that the brown actually might look nice when I do use black though I use this one I think it's models something very pigmented. But yeah, this one's good. I'm not sure what palette to use. I've got this one by Too Faced, this one by Too Faced, and this one by Anastasia Beverly Hills with Alyssa Edwards. So I have more palettes, but these three are my more like girlier kind of ones. So I'm probably just going to swap and switch between and kind of impulse pick at the time what I feel like. Mm. I might do a base coat first actually. I'm going to use... Oh, I just impaled myself with the palette. I'm going to use Good Girl as a base. Just because I, I feel like it's a good base colour. Very neutral. I know some chicks go like, they get like a liquid eyeliner and like really shaping their brows, but mine are so bad at the moment, I'm just gonna try to rock them a little more natural looking and I'll deal with it later. See like this is nice, but it's like very dramatic, but it's still tempting. I might go in with a little bit of like browns in that, and then like brown to pink, maybe, maybe brown and pink. using the browns from this palette. I really love this palette. Um, I was gonna get it. I was going back and forth. And then Ryan actually got it for me as a surprise. I was like, oh, it was so thoughtful. He was in Melbourne at the time. And yeah, he just happened to get it for me as a surprise. It's like a, because like to bring me home something and because it's got like the heart as well I just thought it was so cute and this brush by the way is just a nude by nature I like it's got a really sharp brush line it's good like you don't get flyaway stray hairs in the brush I usually just smoke the bottom of mine out a little bit because, I don't know, I think if I tried to get it perfect, it'd just do my head in. I've gone with a little bit of the brown from this palette as well. Should I go in with pink? 
think I'm gonna leave this maybe. Oh, okay. I could keep them like this light and try to colour. Hmm. Maybe I'll keep them like a light pink. Ooh, or gold. Gold could look cool. I'm gonna try to do a bit of a gold. I do a bit of a yellow under the gold. In the um, Anastasia palette. Because I think it helps with the pink one. Sorry if this is a bit messy, I'm really usually nice, close and personal with the mirror. I'm getting to make pink a little more dramatic. This is giving me vibes of, um, do you guys remember twin poles? Those icy poles that were like yellow and pink? You'd snap them into and share with someone. Yeah, well, it's reminding me of that. Mm. I can just need more gold. But I think I'm just about done with the eyeshadow. I just gotta do my eyeball. Okay. I'm pretty happy with how that's turning out. I'm just gonna use this like pink glossy colour up to my brow bone. Oh my god, my eye. I also have this magic dust with an eye shimmer from Sports Girl, I think. And I'm just gonna add a tiny little bit like up here. I know you can use it on your lips too, but Put it on my eyes. See what I can do here, but I'll probably end up going to the bathroom to do my eyeliner and mascara because I like to get up like that's close and personal with the mirror. It's okay. It is working out, but I'm just gonna run to the mirror quickly because I don't want to screw it up. Be right back. Fresh eye look. Um, just for reference as well. Um, I use Rimmel um, eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, and I just have a mini one at the moment. But I'm using Estee Lauder mascara. <laughs> That's how it looks. Um, got a bit of fallout and all that because I was, I don't know, rushing a little bit. Well, I don't know, just not being as careful, I guess, as I should have been. So I'm just tidying that up. Um, add some highlight. This is just a uh, from Sports Girl, I think. It doesn't have that much pigment. That's fine. And this isn't a highlighting brush either. <laughs> And I'm just going to use this lipstick, <laughs> sorry, this lipstick, and yeah, and then I'm going to go do my hair. And, and this is the finished makeup look, I ended up going a slightly lighter lipstick, and I just braided my hair um, and straightened the ends of it in the flat waves. And yeah, now I'm going to go put my outfit on. Six and a half hours later. And this is the final look. I've already been out and come back. I forgot to show you guys my final look. So I'm showing you now. But yeah, I braided my hair. I put in some little dangly earrings. All right, thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe. I post every, at least every week, minimum every week, twice a week maybe. Stay tuned, subscribe, thank you.